Hello, and welcome to our Alphatron DSP video series. This is part one, and in today's video, we will be taking a look at the general overview of the DSP software. So without further ado, let's take a look. As you can see, once the software is open, this is the basic uh, user interface of the software. On the left hand side, just in, in general, this section is our input section. In the middle here, we have our routing and master section. And on the right hand side here, this is our output section of the DSP. So starting from the top left, there's a button here for editing the modules. So this will basically allow you to configure these modules and we will be discussing all the different aspects in, in separate videos in more detail in upcoming episodes. Firstly then, in channel 1 and uh, basically all the channels, both the input and output channels, you can see our setup very much like uh, a mixing consoles channel strip for the guys that are familiar with mixing consoles. So basically, starting from the top, your input or analog, uh, analog to digital conversion um, setup is right at the top, so that's your, your input section. Then you have five DSP modules going then to your outputs or your, your control for that uh, module. So that's our volume control and our mute for channel one. And as you can see, channel one, two, three, four, five, and so on goes down on the right hand side. Then similarly, if you look at the output section, we start off with filters at the top, parametric, delay, limiter, phase inversion, and then your actual output control for that output channel. And again, channels one through eight uh, from left to right on uh, this version of the DSP. As I mentioned then, in the middle is your master section. So right at the top, your gain sharing auto mixer. Then you have your echo cancellation processing, your ambient noise suppression, your matrixing, and then there's some USB playback and record functions that you can set up via the USB interface of the DSP as well. Just looking at the top, um, starting again from, from left to right, your home button, which is this master home page. Then we have the inputs page. So this then starts again your inputs uh, first section. So this is your analog to digital section and preamp section of the DSP. And then your first module, second module. And you can click and drag the modules across. And there's a third module, fourth module, and so on and so forth. You could also, for quick reference, click anywhere on the modules on the right hand side here to quickly navigate between between them. Again, if I click on home, it takes me back to my home my home page. I can also, in, in that sense, just in terms of routing or quickly accessing my inputs, I can click on any one of those modules to take me directly to the module. Uh, again, I can go home and click on AGC there and directly take me, uh, it will directly take me to that module. So as I mentioned, going, going further on to the right, we then have our auto mix section. Right. And again, all the details will be discussed in upcoming episodes. Our echo cancellation, ambient noise suppression, matrix routing, our output section, which again, similar setup, as I mentioned for the input section. So from left to right is your modules top to, bow, top to bottom. Again, starting with filters, parametric EQ, or you can set select it quickly here on the right hand side so your delay limiter and your phase inversion and output uh, settings lastly then we have a meters section so this is just your master meters shows you both your input and your output meters which are the same meters that come up here next to the slider so this is just a little master overview of all your inputs and outputs and then lastly there's a button to select the camera control panel interface uh, again, any of these pages at the top can be quickly accessed by clicking anywhere on uh, on the actual interface itself. So if you wanted to quickly route to the matrix, you could just click on the matrix button and it will take you directly to the matrix and then you can go back to the home page. Similarly, echo cancellation or ambient noise suppression, I can again click on that button and or on this section and it will quickly take me to that page. Okay. Some other basic functions that you can access from the front page um, is stereo linking two of your channels. 
that will be a stereo link so when you want to to link two channels into a stereo mode you can press the link button and now let's say for instance i go to my parametric eq and i make a change to my eq you'll see it automatically turns my eq on uh, or that specific band of my eq on and then i can turn the master eq button on or off so once i've done that because i've linked my two channels in stereo mode it is now linked my two channels across and the same settings are applied to both channels simultaneously secondly in this case now my volumes will be will be linked as well but i can also just set up my my inputs or my outputs outputs work the same way but i can set up different groups on my on my sliders as well if i want to or on my channels so i can right click my my slider or right click anywhere on my channel i can then select group settings and here I can now group different channels together. So let's say I wanted to group um, channel one is now already in a stereo pair. So we can leave that as a stereo pair or we can have them as parts of group one, for instance. And if I now say, okay, it is now set that group and you'll see that the channel faders have, have changed color. Again, if I right click anywhere, I can make channel five and six, seven and eight, my other two groups and now you've set those up and again i can now control those volumes uh, together um, directly from there and the same applies to the output channels so again group channels i can select outputs and i can make my channel groups as i as i would like to click ok and there they are lastly these channel groups can also be accessed from the group settings uh, window here under settings from the menu bar so the same the same access window will apply once you click on there okay continuing on the right hand side here of the software there's a couple of settings here on the right hand side still so starting off with the first one would be your reset to default this will basically reset the the dsp back to its uh, default state you can also restore all the individual settings of the DSP back to factory. There is a system mute, which will basically mute all outputs and inputs of the system. So no audio will actually pass through the unit. So once that's activated, the unit actually stops passing, passing audio. And then lastly, you have your presets. So if I click on that button, you'll see that there's 16 presets that I can, can create. And these are global presets. So they affect all input and outputs channels simultaneously so any changes you make to the system will be recorded globally for each preset so i would select preset one two three whatever the case is and then click on save and that will actually save my presets to that preset state in addition to saving that preset states again on the settings menu i can also go and rename my presets now so you'll basically click there and you'll type in the name so let's say um, this is preset demo one. Once I save it, I can close this and you'll see now my preset is updated on the right hand side here as well. And lastly, there's also a preset uh, load button. So you can uh, have presets load um, from, uh, from a file and you can also obviously store that to, to that file as well. Just lastly, uh, looking at the, the file system uh, here or the actual menu menu bar. So there's basically an open and a save uh, under file and just normal Windows uh, access. So you can basically save or open a whole control um, interface for, for the DSP. So save the whole DSP's file. And the settings, we have the device settings and we'll discuss those in a little bit more detail in an upcoming episode as well. You can access your general purpose input output settings, group settings as we as we mentioned, preset names that you can change. There's a panel settings and that's for controlling and setting up of the wall panels. Our user interface, again the graphic user interface that we can customize and set up for iOS and Android devices and Windows devices. And then there's user admin access you can set up basic passwords to access the DSP with. Lastly is our help section, so the about of the, of the, the software, software version and so on, 
the actual help document for the DSP. So that's actual uh, USB, uh, DSP user guide. The central control command. The central control command uh, is used to uh, basically generate command strings for the unit itself. So once that is open, you can actually generate um, command strings. And then lastly, you can check for, for any updates on the system. Okay, that is uh, in a nutshell, just a, a quick overview of the DSP. And uh, please join us for the next uh, episode. And uh, remember to like and subscribe and press the notification bell. And make sure it's activated so you can be notified whenever we upload the next episode. See you soon. Bye.